Well, good chilly morning, everyone. As you can see behind me, old man winter finally showed up. So we had another decent frost this morning. I sat in the tree stand for a little bit, but I'll be honest with you, I'm chomping at the bit to get to work. I know I said next video is probably going to continue to work on the wood rack, but uh, you know, I've been thinking the last few days at work, I'm so close to finishing that trail. I've only got about a hundred yards to go. Then I'll have my third entrance into the woods. So we're going to finish that trail real quick. Then we're going to jump right back on that wood rack. I'm freezing. It's cold. Should be perfect working weather today. I'm going to run inside and get some coffee real quick. Let all this frost behind us melt down. We'll get to work. Well, good morning everybody as you seen earlier nice frosty morning old man winter like i said it's finally here it feels like it at least it's supposed to be in the 30s the next couple of days so uh got out did a little bit of hunting this morning had some nice action enjoyed myself so take a look at this So as you can see, the does came out. They were feeling frisky, especially the younger ones. And they do that in a lot of these cool mornings. They'll get there and play. And you can tell they're just enjoying themselves. They're not burning up for once. So uh, it was nice to see that. I'm still getting a, a lot of younger bucks on camera. And uh, just driving in here on this trail, I can see there's deer tracks everywhere. So obviously they're already using this trail that I'm cutting. And uh, I'd imagine they'll continue to use it from here on out. You know, why not? Who would want to walk through? You know thick nastiness when you got a wide open trail so uh eventually i think i might think about putting some uh shooting houses here in the woods or some tree stands so like i said in the last video i was dead set that i was going to start on the uh wood rack and you can see where i did start my clearing but man i've been at work the last few nights thinking about finishing this trail i have maybe 100 yards to go and it's not rough cutting at all because i used to have a four-wheeler trail here so I want to clear that out so I've got a full access around the property. Why not? It won't take me long. And then uh, I can go build the wood rack. We'll jump on that on the next couple of videos. I'll come back in here at some point, maybe before or after the wood rack, chip up all the limbs that I have and pick up all the firewood. Might as well get it out of here because that's what I'm building the wood rack floors to uh, split some of this. And then I've got some down trees out here and a big green live oak that's dying on the back side of the property that I need to cut down and we'll split it up for some firewood. So while it feels nice and great, let's get started.
So I think I showed this off in one other video, but just adds to the uniqueness of this property and some of the history. There's clay pits just as far as the little camera can see. And there's cliffs out there that are, I don't know about where my finger is. So pretty unique piece of property up here. For example, if you come over here, This is pretty wild. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I'm in the mountains. I'm gonna check this out. I know this is all man-made, but just shows you this cliff. I mean, this is a, this is a 30 foot cliff right here. Pretty cool to see stuff like this in Florida. Makes me feel like I'm up in North Carolina or something. I mean, I don't see how some of these trees are standing. Like these couple of cherry trees up there. I can look all the way up underneath the roots. So these will probably be hitting the ground at some point in the future. Look at that oak tree right there. I can look all the way up underneath the roots there. But this is ultimately what they were down here for. You can see how dried out and blocky this is. It's just clay. They were mining it, hauling it off, and I guess using it on fill-in projects, road projects. I'm not sure what all they used to dig this out for. But pretty cool history.
All right, all my tree experts watching this, tell me what on earth kind of tree is this? I have never seen one seep white sap, resin, whatever that is out of there. That is crazy. It looks like milk. Very interesting. You can see over here it's doing it on all the limbs. Got a green, really mushy, wet, just uh, center. And all around the bark is white. Just leaking white. Really strange tree. Never cut one like that before. Kind of looks like a china berry tree. Is that what y'all think it is? Kind of more of a weed than a tree to me, but they grow around here. All right, well, that wasn't too terribly complicated. A few more trees to take out than I remembered, but I got this side of the trail nice and open. I may take out the last of this old, what I think is a china berry tree, but I got plenty of room to get in here now. As you can see, this is my dirt mound where I normally dig out of. And I, in another episode, we have to dig a lot of dirt out of this to smooth that up right there. I don't know if you can see it's at a slope and it does this number bad. So it's gonna beat the tractor to death. A lot of roots in there too. So in some upcoming episodes, we'll be doing dirt work out here. I need to go ahead and hook up the flail mower at some point, run through this entire trail system and cut down all these vines and limbs and stuff that's still left in the trail that I wasn't gonna take the time to cut with the chainsaw. Still need to pole prune the trail and uh, we're not done. We're done building trail for a while because I am gonna make the uh, wood rack and firewood cutting a priority here pretty quick. Um, but we still have a whole nother section to build back this way. And I may build another one on the north end of the property too, another little small run of trail. So we'll get back to that later. But for now, we'll smooth up what we've got. We'll mow it out. We may pull prune some, just depending on things like this that are in the way that might hit the tractor. Otherwise, we may hold off on pole pruning. And then in some of the upcoming uh, episodes here, like I said, we're gonna build the wood rack. And then I've got several trees we're gonna cut. I'm kind of itching to get the bigger saw out, cut a little firewood, split some. It's been a week or two, so uh, looking forward to that. So that's what's coming up. Thank you all for watching.